Hello, my name is Tyler from Wensco, and today we're working with the Roland XR640. We're gonna go over a cut configuration, so if you're putting on new media or if you're having issues with it cutting, you can go through these steps to make sure everything is working properly. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is come in here and press and hold the test cut button to perform a test cut. We did a few different test cuts here with different pressure. So this first one is about 50 grams of force. You can see that we can't even really get it to peel up because there's not enough force really to be able to weed this out at all. This next one is about 120 grams of force. You can actually see how hard we cut through this basically. We cut all the way into the backer. So maybe a little bit too much force there. This next one is about 90 grams of force. And if we pull on this one, we should be able to get the circle to separate from the square like it does here perfectly. And you know that's about the exact amount of force that you wanna use. This left one is 50 grams of force. You can see we can't weed it, so it's too little pressure. The next one is 120 grams of force, and we cut all the way into the backer. That's too much force. The last one is 90 grams of force. We were able to weed it perfectly, so that's the perfect amount of force that you want. If we're gonna make any changes to the test cut, we're gonna go into the cut configuration menu from here. Like I said, 90 grams of force was perfect for us. We'll go up to 90, hit enter. It's gonna bring us back to the main menu here, but when you see if we go back into cut configuration, it's set to 90 now. If you want to change how fast it cuts, you can press the right arrow and go to speed. From here, we can go up and down on here. It's important to remember that if you change the speed, you'll also need to change the up speed so that they match. Otherwise, you're gonna get issues on your corners of all of your cuts. The other one is offset. This is set with the blade that you put into the machine, so you shouldn't have to change this unless you go to a different blade, in which case you can go in here and manually change it as well. But that's all the options in the cut configuration menu. That's how you manage the cut configuration on the Roland XR640. If you still needed help with this, you can contact us here at Wensco. We can definitely help you out. But if you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. Let us know in the comments below what you'd like to see us do next. And if you liked anything you saw in this video, you can check it out at wensco.com. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.